So hi out there in Flasty Land. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Tuesday, uh, February 11th at approximately 9.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a floss tube interlude of sorts. Um, I have a new product that I kind of want to show you. Um, it was something that I kind of ran across late this last week as I was um, looking for a way to um, not have to pull several projects off my Q snaps and to kind of use um, some of my scroll frames that I have um, on hand. And I didn't want to have to um, sort of, I guess you could say, like, you know, use the old method that I had of attaching a project to a scroll frame. I had cut um, some of the scroll, scroll rods that I have, have um, a little in groove set in them where you put a, a real thin dowel rod, you put your fabric on it, you push the dowel rod in, and then you roll it up and it tightens it up. Um, that worked for me for many years, but I moved over to Q-Snaps. And because I have several large heaven and earth design projects, I wanted something that I could actually spread the whole project out on one of my scroll rods and um, just kind of work that way um, on my scroll rods as opposed to like Q snaps, you know, we're having an 11 by 11 Q snap for a project that's like 17 inches big where I'd have to move the Q snap. Um, I am in the extreme cross country uh, heaven and earth design or, you know, full coverage um, new Facebook group that popped up towards the end of last year to learn extreme cross country um, stitching. And that's where you do one color over the entire chart, one color and until it's done over the entire chart. Now I'm not necessarily a cross-country stitcher. Um, you know, I was going bit by bit, color by color, until the blocks were complete, and then I'd finish a page and then move on to the next page. Um, I started parking. I learned how to park, I think, about a year and a half ago, and I still park to some degree. I, I just use a combination of parking and cross-country stitching. I've never been an extreme cross-country stitcher, but I wanted to um, potentially kind of play with that um, technique um, for doing some of my larger heaven and earth design projects. And um, so I have one of the scroll frames that I have had for the longest time. Um, many of you are probably familiar with the these scroll rods that have these um, fabric basting strips. And th these are where you would normally sew your cross stitch fabric to the basting strip and then you could roll you know, you roll your project around your um, scroll rods. So this is just a basic, um, you know, run of the mill um, entry level scroll frame thing. The scroll rods, um, these side things you'll see here, there's um, two holes and the scroll rods basically, um, I don't have these tightened down a lot, but um, as you can see, the scroll rods just pop right out. They're um, grooved for the notches, so they fit right in here. These are you know, I think these are similar to the um, scroll frames that you can get at Michael's and Joann's. Um, they're basic cheap, cheaper scroll frames. Um, most of the ones that you get have the basting strips. I have never, never ever used the basting strips. So I've had this scroll frame probably 20 years. Um, I've been stitching for quite a while, for a long, long time. But I don't think I've ever used this scroll frame. I put these magnets on the side thinking I was going to use them. But I have never used this scroll frame, um, the basting strips on this, because I just don't like the idea of having to sew straight um, my, cr my cross stitch fabric onto these basting strips. I have never really been a sewer. Um, to say that I can stitch a straight line, I probably can. But I have just have never, ever, Ever since I learned how to cross stitch in 1989, I have never been a fan of these basting strip scroll rods. So um, this frame actually didn't get a lot of use. So just to show you, this is a, um, it's either a Merit's, 
products frame made in the USA. Yes, this frame is made in the USA, and I'm really happy to keep it. But um, anyway, I was looking for, I was considering some other way to um, make use of my scroll frame that I have, this very old scroll frame. Um, and so one of the things I thought, I could take a Q-snap, the outside part of the Q-snap that snaps on and holds your thing. I could get a Q-snap cover and plop it on here. Then I was like, well, you know, I might only have a Q-snap piece that'll, that's only this big. If my fabric is this big, that means the edges are going to be loose. Um, I could, you know, find some other ways to attach my fabric to this scroll frame. But I was on... Um, I was watching and listen and reading a new blog to me, so I have some notes here. Um, but I was watching a new to me um, kind of blog um, and Facebook, uh, or not Facebook, but FlossTube um, channel or person. Her name is Donette Hart Hartvigen, H A T H A R T V I G E N, and Felicia Norman. They're from. Um, you can get, you can see a lot of their blog posts and their videos and stuff, their tutorials on embroidery.com. And um, they, um, they have been using this um, easy stitch, no based system for attaching their um, fabric to scroll rods. And the easy stitch scroll rods are now coming with this no based um, Velcro system to attach your fabric to the thing or to the scroll rods for stitching. And so I went to um, their links and then I went to Amazon and, and 123stitch.com and I picked up the Easy Stitch um, tape system. This is a Velcro tape system and you see there's two parts. You have the tape for the floor rod or for this. Um, stitching rods. This goes on the wooden part of your rods. And then you have the second part, which attaches to your fabric. Now, each one of these rolls is three yards each. You need both parts to use the system. So if you have some scroll frames um, that you want to convert, you need to get both parts. I got, um, I got two of the rod system on Amazon. Um, I believe each of them was like 10 bucks. And then I have a three pack of the fabric part um, that I got a three pack of for like 23 bucks. And I got these on Amazon. Um, this part came in on um, Friday. This part came in yesterday. Um, hold on just a minute. I got to pause for a minute. I've got to shut my door. My cat just wandered in. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so um, anyway, I got, the, I got the two part system. And so what I was originally gonna do um, was um, I have some dowel rods, really long dowel rods. So I have two of these dowel rods. These are oak um, dowel rods. This is the the full length. So I believe these are about a yard a yard long. I have the these two. I have two of these dowel rods that I have the pieces for, right here. These are the pieces that I got. Um, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the end here to put my little screw thing on and I have wing nets to go with them too but I'm gonna um, have to drill a hole here so I can screw the um, the things that the wing nets are gonna screw onto so I can put them into my scroll bar stretcher bars my scroll rod stretcher bars um, not these ones but I have a, a couple other sets but there's holes on the side you basically just you know stick the thing through the little hole and screw the wing nut on you've seen scroll rods if you're familiar with scroll rods you've probably seen these but I've had these oak ones to make really big um, really big scroll frame rods um, these are basically like a yard long they're you know just the typical um, thing um, and this is oak. This is an oak dowel rod. So I have these oak dowel rods right here. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to be making um, a very large scroll frame out of for my larger Heaven and Earth design pieces. And uh, I was trying to figure out a way, you know, if I really wanted to use. Um, 
scroll frame, or not scroll frame, but Q-snap cover bars to attach my fabric to the um, scroll rods. And um, i kind of been sitting on, I've had those scroll rods for probably, or the dowel rods for probably like six months or more. I just haven't taken the time yet to do, to drill the ends and put the, um, put the hardware in them that I need to make the extended um, scroll frames for my larger projects. And um, I wasn't really sure that I wanted to use the Q-snap covers because I'd probably have to use two or three for that long yard length. And um, I just wasn't really sure I wanted to use the Q-snap covers for that. So I've kind of been, you know, here and there looking online. Then when I came across this um, no base system from Easy Stitch, bear with me, I just had them, there they are. Um, when I came across this the snow base system, I was like, that actually just answers my question, answers all my whatever. So basically, here's what happens. You need both sets. Like I said, you have one for the rods, and it specifically says um, easy stitch tape for the rods, and then this is the easy stitch tape for your fabric. So basically what you do is you take that easy tape um, for the rods, and it's a it's a sticky Velcro, so it has an um, adhesive backing to it. You unroll it, and you attach the rod part to your rod in a straight line. So basically, it puts a strip of Velcro all the way across. Then the other part of the Velcro is um, the part that you go on your fabric. <laughs> So sorry about that. I accidentally paused the video, didn't realize that I kept talking and kept talking, and then I realized my time wasn't going. So anyway, um, so I was talking about the rods. This is the part that you place on your wooden rods, and this is the part that you place on your fabric. So you take your fabric that you're going to use to cross stitch, whether you're going to scroll, if you're going to uh, scroll your fabric on your scroll frame top to bottom, um, then you would put a strip of your fabric tape on the top and bottom um, in a straight line so you can get even tension when you roll it on your scroll frame. And then you would just kind of Velcro it to the strip that's on your rods. And um, if you wanna do, if you wanna scroll it this way, so you're working sideways, um, then you would put it on the left and right side. But I, most of my projects I'm gonna step, um, I'm gonna put on my um, wood frames like this. So I'm gonna be putting that fabric tape on the top and bottom parts of my, all my fabric that I'm going to use on scroll frames. So a lot of my heaven and earth design pieces are going to be going on probably the, the larger set once I get the holes and everything drilled for the ends. Um, anyway, so I kind of wanted to come to you tonight because I am going to kind of walk you through um, taking off the basting tape and attaching the rod portion of the easy tape to the um to the wood rods for this set because i actually do have a piece for one of my stitching challenges on one of my face many many, many facebook groups um, that i need to do it's for whipgo actually um for whipgo this this month um one of the pieces that was selected um in the random draw was my jewels of the orient it's a dimensions kit of two ladies in a kimono one lady is standing up the other lady is sitting down and i have it started but um i didn't want to put it in a q snap and i kind of wanted to roll it on a scroll frame so i figured i would make use of this basting um scroll frame that i've had this real old one and put my kimono jewels of the orient for um, my february whip go on this so i can easily pop it off um, when i'm done stitching with it um, and as i said before i don't like the basting tape i've never been a fan of sewing fabric onto basting tape and rolling it on scroll rods i have never liked this system so i'm hoping that this easy stitch um, no base tape Velcro tape system is going to be kind of the answer to my, the answer to a lot of my um, concerns, especially when it comes to using those uh, bigger scroll rods or dowel rods for my uh, cross stitch, my large Heaven and Earth Designs cross stitch patterns. Um, so anyway, here, here is my thing. I'm actually going to, um, I have a, uh, flathead screwdriver here and you can see these basting strips 
as with most squirrel rod systems like this, the um, basting strip is held on to the wood by staples. So I'm going to have to pry all the staples out. Um, so bear with me. This could take me a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully I won't hurt myself. Hopefully, you know, I won't be too damaging to much. Um, I kind of don't really care if the basting strip gets damaged because again, you know, I'm not, uh, not going to be using this anyway. Oh shit. Okay. Well that hurt. Sorry about that. You guys, Damn, I just gouged my thumb. Yep. I just gouged my thumb. So I'm going to have to stop because you can see, I just gouged my thumb. I'm going to have to stop, put a bandaid on, and um, I'm going to go ahead and work on this off camera, but um, I will come back and finish this up for you once I get this basting strip off of here. But yes, I have a, I have a wound. So I will be back in a moment. Talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, so I actually have the bias tape or the uh, canvas tape off of this one, but as you can see, I still have staples to pull off of this rod. And I'm almost done with the staples on this rod. I am actually using a um, staple remover um, from my office supplies um, as opposed to the flathead screwdriver. This is going up under the staples. Pretty cool. um, so I just kind of wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing. So basically I am running the um, staple remover up under the staples holding the fabric to the squirrel rods and I do have a peanuts a little peanuts um, it has Snoopy I have a peanuts um, band-aid on my thumb um, it actually started to bleed um, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and pull this pull the tape up Maybe actually, is there a third staple? Yes, there is a third staple on this thing. way over here. Which is why it isn't coming up. Okay. I totally missed this third staple over here. But in essence, Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, is there a fourth stable or just the third? There's just the three. All right. So, as you can see, I've gotten the tape off. And there's three staples on this end, and um, I am working on, I have about six or seven more staples to remove off of this thing. But this uh, staple remover, office staple remover, is working just fine to get under the staples. So... so. There we go. But as you can see, I'm leaving the staples in there. I'm going to get some pliers and pull the staples out um, when I'm done with this. So you can see, I'll do one more staple for you before I pause. And then um, we'll kind of go from there. All right. So I'm kind of fighting with this. Yeah, this... Uh, um, basting canvas tape <laughs> is going to get thrown out. There we go. Just kind of bend it just to get it. 
And some of them I can actually pull out. And some of them break off too. So, anyway. So, getting these out is kind of a pain in the rear end. But in the long run, I'll be able to use this. So, all right, I'm going to pause here for you, and I will be back once this is all done and the staples are pulled out. So, hey, everybody, again, um, I have my um, dowel rods, my scroll frame rods, completely devoid of staples. You can see where the staples used to hold the basting fabric on. Devoid of staples, and they are now ready to receive the um, easy stitch, no baste, Velcro tape for rods. Notice it says for rods. So I'm going to actually open this package and show you now. So what I ended up doing is I ended up using a um, an office supply staple remover to remove the staples. It was going a lot easier than trying to get my flathead screwdriver tip up on the staples. And I also needed a pair of pliers. My husband brought up a pair of pliers for me and pulled the staples up that didn't come completely out of the thing. Um, out of the, the rods for me. So um, that was handy. So now you can see where the staples used to be that were holding the basting fabric to my scroll frame rods. So now I'm going to be using the easy stitch tape for rods to apply to my scroll frame rods. All right. So, I believe for this you're going to need some scissors. Scissors, okay? So, the tape comes in this roll, it's taped together. Um, so, it has an adhesive side and it is taped together. So, you'll see it's in a roll, it has an adhe a clear adhesive side right there. And then this is the um, Velcro. This is actually really soft. So this wider tape is the um, tape that you would put on your scroll rods. So basically what I'm going to do with this is I am going to actually hold this onto my scroll rod, um, get it right up close to the end, and kind of measure, run it along my things here, and measure where I need to cut the um, tape. So basically I'm going to hold it. The big scroll rods, you know, it has the little indentation at the end where it goes into the sidebars of the scroll frame. And this actually has a uh, tape to hold it together. So I'm going to put that aside. And um, basically just kind of hold the um, tape to close to the end for um, where the uh, stretcher sidebars go into the groove. And then I'm just gonna hold it across here to the other groove and measure. And know approximately that I need to cut about right there. All right. So we'll measure here. All right. So once I cut the first strip, I can actually measure the second strip based off of that. And I'm going to put it right there. All right. So we're going to cut it about right there. All right. So now I have my piece of scroll rod. Um, okay. Move this out of the way. Hopefully, I don't stop the recording because I've been prone to do that. Um, I'm going to roll this kind of back up, put that down, roll this back up, and use my first piece to measure my second piece. 
and then I'm going to attach it to my scroll rod. So I still have plenty of this tape left. These are in three yard rolls, by the way. So you have three yards of this. Um, and you're gonna need more of the fabric um, tape than you will of the scroll rod tape because once you do your scroll rods, you, you have your scroll rods already set up. But um, you're gonna need fab enough fabric tape for every piece that you wanna use on your scroll rod. The fabric tape, um, the adhesive on this is actually really strong and pretty permanent. So you're gonna need to make sure that if you're gonna use the system for your stitching needs, that any piece of fabric that you're gonna put on these scroll rods using these tape system, you need to have enough extra fabric on the two sides that you're gonna to attach to the scroll frame. Um, where you can cut the tape off because you're not going to be able to rip the tape off the fabric. It's going to be pretty permanent, um, which also means that it's going to help your fat keep help keep your fabric from fraying on those two ends. But you need to make sure that you have enough fabric on the the two ends to cut the tape off when you get ready to finish it because um, basically you're using up that fabric. Um, most of my fabric, I give at least a three inch um, framing allowance. Um, so that's not gonna be a problem for me. But anyway, so I have my first, my first tape, my first section of tape. So basically what I'm gonna do is just tape, take the roll and put my second, my first piece up against the second piece and measure where I need to cut for the second piece of tape. And make, make my cut, there we go. So now we have my two pieces of uh, cross stitch tape for my, I'm gonna actually, um, wrap this up and um, put it away. That way it doesn't get out, doesn't get loose, and I still have it, know where it's at. Um, but yeah, so um, anyway, so you have this side that has the clear, the clear adhesive on the backing. This is the clear adhesive, and you can see it actually says Velcro. Um, Velcro is a brand name, so this is actually Velcro tape. Velcro is a brand name. Um, when you go into stores, you can't ask for Velcro, um, especially Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, they'll, they'll say, we can't sell it as Velcro. We can sell it as hook and loop. So hook is the hard plastic side, or um, I believe hook is the soft side that sticks, and loop is the hard plastic side that grips. So anyway, anyway um, they won't sell it to you as Velcro um, because Velcro is trademarked. <laughs> uh, the name is trademarked, so they call it hook and loop. So this is actually the no-based hook and loop system, but it is by Velcro, as you can see. All right, so um, there is adhesive on the back of this. So now I have my two pieces. I'm just going to put these on here to make sure that um, the two pieces are the length I need. All right, and then I don't need to adjust. So you can see here the two pieces. This piece is definitely the length I need. So it's there and across to there, okay? And then this other piece is the same length. So we have it on the edge there and on the edge over here. Yep. So now I get to basically peel the stick off of the Velcro tape. It feels real easy. Sticky, sticky. And yes, it is. Oh, it is really sticky. So I am actually think I think I'm actually just going to cover up. So you kind of want to get this on here pretty firmly. So, and try and do it as straight as you can. Um, ooh. Yeah, it is really sticky. Oh my goodness. Um, if any of you have ever diamond paint, this is very akin to the diamond painting canvas tackiness that you will get. So, then you just kind of go along and press it down on your 
scroll rods. And I now have a scroll rod that is ready for that. You see there's a little bit on the end. I could probably actually cut just a little bit off. I think I'll do that. Cut just a little bit off. And tack it onto the end. So I think I need about... I think I need about that much. So I will tack this onto the end. And... We will be good. Then I will do the other scroll rod. Just to make sure that I have enough. I have enough. Alright. There we go. Alright. So this should be good. And this should, this should, from what I understand, this, uh, the strength of the stickiness, the adhesive on this is really tough. And it won't pull off. You can roll this as tight as you can get it with your fabric and it's not going to pull off but this is actually really kind of nice it's like peach fuzz it's really soft right here for the your scroll rods and it gives you i think it's uh it's over half an inch of surface area for your um for the tape for your um fabric that's on your fabric to actually adhere to that so i'm actually really excited and that did cover up the staples the staple holes so if there was any kind of burrs in the wood um it's not gonna catch on your fabric so i will take my second piece and cover up the staple holes on my second scroll rod so here are the staple holes i will do that i'm actually going to turn that a little bit away so it's not so bright but so there's my staple holes all right so again you have the adhesive backing so you are going to pull the adhesive backing off of the velcro part of your tape. so we have the velcro rod velcro tape part all right you have to do so we stick this on Stick this on. Uh huh. Okay. And you see my cut. It it's really good on this edge. But you can see it's a little short on this edge, so I'm going to actually have to cut another little piece and stick it on again. So I will cut yet another little piece of the fabric. I will measure. Um, I will measure it a little bit. Okay, I have my little bit that I have to add to the end of it. And the nice thing is this doesn't seem to be too exact. I mean, you don't have to be exact with this. Um, but again, I had to cut this little itty bitty piece to add on to the end. So I'm just peeling the um, plastic off the adhesive back the velcro and i'm going to attach this little piece right here just trying to get it up close and personal to that all right so there you have it there you have it i have it i have the tape the tape is all the way across my uh scroll rod so now my two scroll rods are ready for the um, the part. So this was the scroll, you know, this was um, my video of um, doing, changing out the um, old scroll rods, um, the basting scroll rods that um, you can find pretty much in any store that in less, less expensive scroll rods. 
Um, so I have to tell you, I did get, um, I did get, I got them from Amazon. You can get this uh, system from um, One Two Three Stitch. Um, I got the uh, the rods, rolls. I got two rolls. They were just over ten dollars a piece on Amazon. You can get them on One Two Three Stitch, um, embroidery.com, and there's some other places that um, have them too. But you just look for the Easy Stitch tape. Um, no base tape for rods and for fabric. Remember, you need the two parts for the rods and the fabric separately. Um, and you will notice that the um, for the rods, the, the tape, the Velcro tape is actually wider than the, um, than the fabric tape. I'm going to take the fabric tape out of the package so you can kind of see the difference. Um, so you see how the, this is the rod tape. You see how wide it is compared to the fabric tape? Yeah. So you'll need both systems. Um, just to show you, the, um, go ahead and peel this tape off and unroll this a little bit. So I will kind of give you a demonstration of this. So um, this side is a little more plasticky. And this side has, um, it's the plastic hook part. So Basically, what you're going to do is, um, you know, the plat this part goes on your fabric. This part will go in here. And you can see it sticks a lot. So this is, um, this is what's going to go on your scroll rod. So you see here? So this is the little piece that's going to be on your cross-stitch fabric. So this is going to replace the need to baste everything and yeah it's probably gonna fray your velcro on here if you remove it um, very often like if you swap your projects out a lot but this is the piece that goes on your fabric so you, you'll lay your fabric across here just like this with the tape system and it'll stick and then you can just peel it up you see it's just like a fabric it's just like a velcro system and this other part is velcro the neat nice thing about this is though is that this part um, normally is really scratchy if you get the normal velcro you know the um, the hard plastic part is really scratchy right and the other part has has like nubbies on it and it's not so smooth this is actually really really soft you guys this part um, this is the soft part for your rods and the part that goes on your fabric is the more plasticky kind of um, stiffer part but this isn't like so scratchy. I mean, you can do this. Yeah, you can feel the scratchiness. It kind of feels a little bit like a loofah or, you know, something. It doesn't, it doesn't really, it feels like super duper fine sandpaper, but it's not, it's not real scratchy. It's not going to really irritate your skin. Sometimes with the Velcro, if you rub the hard part against your skin, you know, you're going to get scratches. This isn't that way. So you have the thicker part. The thicker part versus the thinner part. The thicker part is soft. The thinner part is the plasticky part. This is the part that you're going to stick to your fabric. And this is the part that is going to be stuck to what's on your scroll frame now. So you can see it's, it acts as the Velcro. So I'm really looking forward to using this snow base system. Um, Keep watching for a video to come where I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to prepare um, my Jewels of the Orient fabric of the work in progress that I already have started. It's a dimensions kit. I already have the pattern started. Um, on that kit, I'm not using the flat, the fabric that came in the dimensions kit because it came with Ada, white Ada. And at the time that I started the kit, way back in 2002, um, I started it in March of 2002. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't stitching on Ada. I was mainly stitching on linen. So I bought a piece of linen fabric that I had started it on. And yes, I did start it in 2002, but, um, I'm going to be using this set of scroll frames now since I have the basting system on them. And I will be showing you the video where I prepare the cross stitch fabric using that. And then I will have a third video where I show you my, uh, my method of attaching the fabric to my new no base system. So there you have it. Um, let me get this popped in here for you so you can kind of get an idea of, um, you know, how this, how this once 
a sewing basting system scroll frame is now a no based velcro style um scroll rod attachment so there's my scroll there's my basting my velcro on my scroll rods you'll see it goes end to end and um so basically i can attach my fabric to it and roll it up um yeah so there you have it um i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry it was a little long and i'm sorry it was choppy and i wasn't really good i've got to edit now i have to edit the pieces and parts together but hopefully um you've gotten something out of this um again this is the easy stitch um easy stitch no base tape system for um attaching your pieces to score rods if you don't want to use um if you don't want to sew you can take the um the basting tape that is stapled under your score rods off if you don't want to use q snaps if you don't want to use something else to attach your frame fabric to your cross stitch frames get this you'll need the easy stitch tape for the rods and the easy stitch tape for the fabric it's a two-part system and it's velcro it's by the velcro brand so anyway um you can also get this from american dream products um embroidery.com 123stitch.com i got mine off of amazon.com i got the fabric um the fabric came in a three pack the three pack was twenty dollars and some so instead of paying ten dollars a piece for the roll you can pay you can get three for like 20 bucks um once you do your rods, <clears throat> your rods should last you for quite a while. So you won't, you only need to buy enough of this to do your scroll frame rods. Um, once you do your scroll frame rods, then you're set. But you're going to need enough of this to do as many of your cross stitch whip fabric pieces as you've got fabric. And um, so I would probably recommend buying more more of the fabric tape. Um, because you're going to need this for every project because you're not going to be able to rip it off and put it on another project um, you're going to have to cut it off and um, yeah you don't want to keep cutting cutting this off of your fabric because you're not going to have enough fabric to stitch so um, you're going to need enough of this for for every project that you have um, because it's not going to come off of your fabric um, the tape is pretty sticky like here I mean yeah, this isn't coming off very easy. You have to put some effort into getting this tape off of your scroll rods. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, we're in the process of moving. Um, a friend of ours is working on the hardwood floors in our new house right now. The three bedrooms have hardwood floors, so he has finished sanding them. He was supposed to start polyurethaning them today to get the finish in. Once the... Um, once the hardwood floors are done and dried, um, we can go in and lay the flooring in the house. We bought flooring a um, week and a half ago. And uh, the flooring is sitting in the house acclimating to it because um, you're supposed to acclimate the floors to the house for a couple of days before you start laying them to give them a chance to expand and contract and um, kind of get the feel for the house. So once the... Um, once the... Hardwood floors are dry and the polyurethane is set and everything's good. Um, we will get in there. My husband and my sister-in-law are going to be laying the floors and the rest of the house. And um, then we can actually officially start moving. Um, I have moved quite a few of this, quite a few of my yarn bins and everything over to the new house. Some of the stuff that we've moved over there is in the garage. Some of it's done, my husband and I have moved down to the basement, but we have um, started moving. So um, my craft room is a mess because um, some of this stuff is gone, but some of this stuff I've just kind of piled everywhere. Um, so, as I said, I don't know when my next, you know, how, how often these videos are going to come. Um, but um, keep watching because uh, pretty soon here I'll be filming in the new location. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this video of the um, Easy Stitch No Based Velcro Tape System for um, attaching your projects to your scroll frames.
Um, I'm looking forward to, to using this and I'm looking forward to filming um, some of the other videos for you in the next few days. Um, I don't know how often these are actually going to make it to the thing um, and they may be delayed a little bit and I apologize for that but just know that I'm still here. Um, we're just kind of life is kind of crazy right now and um, I'll come to you when I can. All right so take care keep on keeping on because that's all we can do and uh, we'll see you soon hopefully all right. Take care. Bye for now.